My name is Dr. Michael Slobachikov. I'm a lecturer in the political science department here at uh, Troy University. My background is in Russian politics and Russian foreign policy, uh, especially towards the former Soviet Union. Well, Crimea, uh, ever since the 1700s, belonged to Russia itself. It was part of the Russian Empire, uh, and it wasn't until the 1950s that uh, the Soviet Union gave uh, the Crimea to Ukraine, which at that time was not a big problem since it was all one country. Uh, however, with the breakup of the Soviet Union in uh, the early 90s, uh, it became an issue because Crimea was then a part of a newly independent Ukraine. Uh, Crimea is extremely important to Russian interests because it is the only warm water uh, naval base that Russia has on the Black Sea. Uh, and so this is of vital importance to uh, Russia, and this is why we're seeing Russian troops in Crimea now. They're there to protect their interests and to ensure that they have access to the naval port. Well, I think they're trying to ensure their own strategic uh, interests and ensuring that they have access to the Black Sea uh, fleet and the port. Uh, they're concerned that they won't have access to it if they don't intervene. Uh, they have no interest in taking over Ukraine or moving further e uh, west than that. They have no interest in taking over most of the former Soviet states, Al although I have to say they have an interest in keeping their sphere of influence there and keeping NATO and the West out. Mm. There's not much, frankly, that the West can do, uh, and this is very frustrating to a lot of Americans. There's not much that they can do. There, there are sanctions that they've talked about doing uh, and imposing, uh, however, Russia provides over a third of Europe's energy uh, needs. Uh, it's shooting yourself in the foot to impose those sanctions. Um, the, what the U.S. can do and the West can do is to uh, have a democratic election in Crimea and eastern Ukraine over secession. And then based on those, uh, on those election results is the way to resolve this conflict. I'm afraid that we're, frankly, at the start of a new Cold War era between the two states. Uh, if relations are to improve, it has to be on a basis of uh, mutual cooperation. It can't be just U.S. interests or just Russian interests. It has to be mutual cooperation. So certain areas that they can cooperate on are issues of, on terrorism, uh, which they've cooperated on in the past, uh, Syria. Uh, Iran, uh, other issues like that. If the U.S. antagonizes Russia too much, though, they'll lose Russian support for issues like Syria and Iran, and uh, those issues will become uh, pr very problematic for American interests in the future.